First, before you do anything, make sure that you turn the breaker off. Go in and find out what breaker it is and keep turning them off until the lights go off because you don't want to get shocked. Then come to the fixture and remove the light bulbs. See how bad this thing is? It broke. Somebody put glue with the motion sensor and it doesn't work anymore. So we're going to change it. It has two Phillips head bolts here that you have to unscrew. It's probably going to be hard to get out because they've been in here a long time. Take the fixture down. You just got two wires, a black and a white. Remove this old seal. Actually, I see a problem here. The old bolts are so rusty, they snapped. See, they're still in there. That's going to be a problem. Get a pair of vice grip pliers, put them on that bolt, and carefully turn it to unscrew the broken bolt. Unfortunately, some older fixtures are like this. The screws are so rusted that you have to break the fixture out in order to carefully remove the screws because you don't want to break them inside because then the junction box is useless and you got to get a new one. Put the seal on first and right here, pop these things out to where the bolts are going to go through. Next, connect the, connect the wires together. White, white, black, black. Push the fixture up with your screwdriver on the bolt. Line it up with the hole, screw it in, and come over here and screw in the other bolt. You can see the lights on, so it's working. Now you're gonna adjust the light fixture the way you want it. I'm gonna have this one point out to the front yard. And this one's gonna point towards the back yard a little bit, that way. And then there's another light up there and then there's a light on the end. And the sensor, you want it to come on when somebody walks in the front yard, so you want to turn it that way, like this. And the screws right here, you tighten those so that these don't move around. They won't fall down like that. Put your light bulbs in to make sure it works. You'll hear it click right before it comes on. The click indicates that the motion sensor is working. Let's go see if the other lights work. that's it there you go that's how you can install a outdoor floodlight thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell